Hi everybody, this video is designed to help you move your way through the online course that is associated with our class. This semester is a little different as we're starting out totally online and then we're going to move to the classroom. At least that's the plan now. Currently, they've told us we're going to be online for one week. That could easily cover the second week. Please check the emails I send you to see if that's the case or not. The syllabus that's associated with this course has been designed for the face-to-face in-classroom uh, instruction. Uh, but to start out, we're going to do online work, which means you're going to have to read a couple of things. And I'll show you a couple of things as we move through. This is the welcome page. Uh, keep an eye on it. This is where I intend to post the video you're watching now. Syllabus is the next thing down, and you can right-click that. I've already opened it. It's right here. This is the syllabus for this semester. Um, please take a few moments to uh, peruse through that. And we also have several things that are in the course materials and documents. Now, this is going to look different from what you see. It There's several things that don't apply to this class now that I've uh, made unavailable, but you'll see them in this video. Um, first thing you should do is locate the course lectures. That's important. Uh, there's also a sheet here that you need to print out and sign for when we meet face to face. And then there are are quizzes that uh, you're not going to be graded on. When we are in the face-to-face, -face, uh, you print these out and mark them down, and uh, we then bring it to class, and we'll go over them in class. Uh, they will be the final exam if we have a final exam. As it is right now, if you're a good class and you participate, and it looks like you're understanding things, then there won't be a, a final exam. Uh, that's my promise to you. For online this week, uh, there are discussions. And the first discussion uh, is right up here. It's introduce yourself. You go to the discussion board, which is where I'm at now, and then you click on the uh, title of the discussion like this. And once you're there, you click create a thread. Once you do that, you can't submit it blank. You have to answer the questions posed in the discussion board. I've already done one here for you to look at. When you get, get to this, click on that and you'll see my post. Make sure that you always address the person you reply to by name. If you reply to me, say, hi, Doug, and to sign off with your name, say something like, thanks, see you later, Tom or Julie however it works out for you. Um, but don't leave that blank. And you do need to respond to at least one other student. And if it comments on yours, then I will uh, expect you to reply to my comments. Anyway, let's go back to the discussion board. That keeps popping up. It's irritating. There's that first discussion. And let's go back to the announcements then. Uh, that's very briefly how to get through the course. It's not intended to answer all of the questions or show you everything in uh, the Blackboard course. And I fully expect that you will have questions. If you do, don't reply to the emails I send the class, the group emails. Make a new email just to me with just you capable of reading that email. Use only your Harper College email account. Don't use any external off-campus uh, email accounts for sending me uh, information. And always, always indicate in your email which section of the class you are in. Please don't eliminate that. Uh, that's all for now. If you have any questions, by all means, feel free to ask. Thanks.